Hey everyone, welcome back to the Second Chance Garden video. Today is my hot pepper plants update, August 2015. Right, um, yeah, first and foremost, I just wanted to apologize for this echoey voice um, because I had to sort of pick another location to shoot my pepper plants. They've gotten so tall, um, I just couldn't find any other place to do so. But anyway, let's get started. Um, the one that you see here is my copper shaver. I'm going to zoom in, zoom out, and all that stuff to show you a little bit better. But first thing first, I just wanted to show you how tall it's gotten. This one is still in my styrofoam cup, you know, double cup system. And as you can see, I put a soda can right next to it so that you can see. I mean, it's like about two foot tall. I mean, it really got very, very tall. And as you can see, it's a, um, this is a, I, I guess a, a stretchy type. I, it, it doesn't get really bushy. It goes very tall and branch out a little bit, which is really beautiful to look at. And um, I'm going to zoom back in to show you some of the fruits. Um, look at this. Okay, so the colorings are a little bit on the lighter side, I think. I mean, it starts out dark purple, then it's getting a little bit lighter now, and I wonder if it's going to be a little bit pinkish later on. I'm not really sure, but as you can see, you can still see a lot of flowers and, uh, and well, you know, obviously a lot of pods. There you go. And definitely these are shero, the shape of these pods can uh, give away, you know, what type of pepper plant this is. And uh, look at these uh, branches, they're very smooth and very, very thick and strong. So I'm overall very, very happy about this. All right, okay. I'm going back up a little bit more and I'm going to zoom out now to get back in the position. There you go. All right, so yeah, this is my copper shero, and I'll show you my shero, real shero that I started from the, the seedling in a minute. There, uh, that one is not fruiting just yet, but stand by, I will bring it right in front of you in a minute. All right, here we have my shero that I started from seeds, I guess, and that the five of them came out, and this is one of them. So it's looking all right, but the, um, it hasn't flowered just yet, but because it's still sort of growing. Let me just get closer to show you how the top looks like. I have to top these two main branches once again, just so they were in hopes of them branching out even further, and that's what the, these top parts are doing right now see and i'm gonna gradually zoom out just to show you how overall it looks like and you know unfortunately it started out late so i'm gonna have to wait a little bit for it to start flowering that's all right it's looking good pretty sturdy um i'm happy with it all right then um, i'm moving on to my devil's tongue All right, so here comes my devil's tongue plant. It's also gotten very, very, very tall, and it's almost looking pretty close to my copper shero, the way it grew out, you know? Um, it gets taller and branch out a bit, um, creating a, a bit of a canopy, but it's not bushy, that's what I noticed. And well, you know what, that's, that's okay. Um, I actually like the way it looks, it, you know, there aren't too many leaves all over the place. And actually there are a couple of fruits, and I think from this angle, I can focus on one of them because it's right in the middle. So stand by, all right, let's get closer gradually, all right. There it is, I'm gonna get even more closer so that you can see it right there. I mean, it's still green, so it's kind of hard to see, but right there in the middle, what is it in the middle? Well, now it's kind of in the middle, okay. So that one is the fruit, um, looking pretty mean, um, still very small, but it's going. And let's see if I can move up a little bit. I'll zoom out. 
and the move up, I guess. There's some flowers still going, so I'm hoping that I get more pots out of this pepper plant a little later on. You see? The some white flowers still going. Overall, it's pretty healthy, as you can see. So yeah, I'm, uh, I'm happy with this one too. So this green pot is going to change to yellow. This is yellow devil's tongue pepper. So I can't wait for that. Hopefully I can show you, you know, um, that pot being matured in the next video. All right, so let me zoom back up. There you go. So this is my devil's tongue. Let's see, I'm going to move on to the shishito pepper now, I think. All right, so hold on one sec. Okay, here we have my shishito pepper. This was a huge surprise to me because it almost died a few months ago. And it started to grow, grow rapidly and uh, the fruiting like crazy. It's very prolific and I'm very, very impressed. I think some of them are ready to pick. And I'm going to do that after this video and I will taste them to see how it goes. But let's zoom in. So as you can see, it didn't get that tall, but you know, it's a little bushy and uh, it's bearing many fruits. I don't know if you can see it from here, but I will zoom in anyway. So let's see here. Okay, okay. Let's start from this side, the right hand side. So here we go. You can see these three right here. Uh, these are pretty um, good to go, I think. And they're still flowering. But some older flowers that you see. And the more pods are coming. So let's sort of move around a little bit to see if I can spot more pods for you. Uh, not so much at the bottom, but Let's move on to the left hand side. Maybe I should change the angle a little bit so that you can see a bit better. I mean, there are few there. When I counted it, there are more than actually 12 to 15 peppers now um, actively growing right now. There you go. So I didn't really expect this hot pepper plant to be so prolific and uh, I'm really, really, really pleased with this one. The only thing is though, I might have mentioned before, this, uh, the whole plant is somewhat tender. It's not very robust. So I have a couple of stakes at the bottom just to hold them in place. Um, I didn't want to top them too aggressively for this one. I was just too afraid to be honest. But now, after this year's over, I'm going to be, you know, left with some seeds and maybe I can do some experiment and see how it goes. And let's see if I can change the, uh, the direction of this plant and see if I can show you more peppers because there are tons more. I don't know if this is going to do some justice, but let's just zoom back in to see if I uh, pick the better angle on this one. Okay, so let's see. I mean, these are few. I think I see four of them. Right, and I'm moving on to, oops, sorry. Uh, in the middle, I mean, I don't know if you can see, but there's the tinier ones all over the place in the middle, but it's kind of hiding behind the leaves, so you might not be able to see. Uh, right, well, let's see. Yeah, there are a couple there. And down there. Well, anyway, so it's doing really, really well. And after I pick some of them, I wonder if uh, it's going to start flowering even more and see if I get to, you know, sort of a harvest for the second time around, I wonder. Well, that would be my hope. And, uh, you know, we'll see what happens. I'll keep you updated on this one. Okay. Um, the next up, I think, is uh, my orange habanero, which is also doing really, really phenomenal. All 
Alright, so here we have my orange habanero and it kind of looks like I'm showing the back side of it and it actually is. If I flip this plant a little bit, you'll see a lot more front leaves because that's where the sun is and uh, the leaves wanted to sort of uh, look up to the sun. But if I do that, I can show you the pods. So yeah, this is the back side of my habanero and I will get closer. You might be able to see these already, but there are tons of pods that I'm pretty pleased with. See? All right, there we go. Um, there are about eh, like, you know, 10 to 12, I think right now. I'm going to move it around. Well, maybe I can get even a little bit more closer. They're all still in green, as you can see, but you know, I'm sure in a month or so that uh, they will all turn into orange. Well, that's my expectation. We'll see how that goes. All right, so let's just move around a little bit. There you go. They're not huge, I have to say, you know, but uh, I'm pretty happy with the way that uh, they're coming out. Even there's one at the bottom of it, as you can see. Yeah. This plant also nearly, you know, sort of died. I mean, it wasn't going to die, but it wasn't doing anything for a long, long, long time. So I even considered to chuck it. And uh, I am really glad that I didn't do that because now it's giving me plenty of peppers. So I'm pretty uh, stoked about that. All right, so this is my orange habanero. All right, the next up is my fish pepper, the smaller one, the bigger ones in a fabric pot. And uh, I hope to show that to you guys in a minute, but this is the uh, the smaller version that I was gonna keep it as an ornamental. And uh, it ended up producing three or four pods for now. I get the feeling that once I pick them, they're gonna start flowering again, and hopefully it will bear more fruits. But let's see if I can focus on at least one of them. It's a bit tricky. Um, showing you these peppers because the colors are kind of like a camouflage in a way. Uh, the, the, the foliage itself is pretty busy. Um, so I could only show probably one of them, which I've already taken photos and put up on my Google+. Plus. Um, well, actually, there's one in the middle and the other one just a halfway showing in the back, but I don't know if you can see it. Um, at least I can show you one. For sure, there you go, right in the middle of the striped ones. It's the way that this, these peppers look is really stunning. Um, they have the stripes that come out, you know, and it's a combination of green and a lighter green, or you can call it a kind of creamy yellow. Then that will turn into sort of a darker red altogether as they progress. Um, my understanding is that uh, the people who actually use these peppers for cooking would already pick them while they're kind of green like this one and use for seafood cooking. And uh, you can also wait until they turn into bright red, you can dry them and you can store them. So I'm really hoping that the other fish pepper plant, the bigger one will bear more fruit so that, that I'll have enough reserve. All right. So here is my Kumari peppers that I showed you previously, um, sort of a complaint that they're kind of making lateral move. They're going wide they don't get tall. So it's such a tiny plant. However, it's putting out some pods. So now it starts to look, um, you know, somewhat exciting. So let me zoom in. All right, so start from the left, as you can see. You know, I was expecting these pots to be completely round, like almost like a black pearl round, but, uh, well, they came out like this, and then I guess, I don't know, I'm gonna have to wait and see once they turn into yellow how that's gonna be. Uh, it was labeled as Kumari peppers, so, uh, you know, I, I, I guess that's the way they are. Somehow I misunderstood that uh, they were going to be round, but they're not round at all. And here you can see some more paws. Yeah, it's pretty exciting considering how tiny this plant is. Um, it's trying to put out some paws. 
and there's some on the top as well. All right, so I'm, I'm gonna zoom out a little bit back to this whole thing. Okay, there you go. As you can see, you know, compared to a can of soda that you can see right next to it, it's not that big at all. I have another Kumari pepper plant, but it's sort of growing a bit slow and it hasn't really matured, so it's just still growing. So I'm not going to show that to you today. All right. Okay, so this is my um, Peruvian white lining hot pepper that you've seen many, many times. And uh, yeah, it's still in the works. It's putting some uh, flowers out and uh, there is actually one pepper that I can show you from this. And let me zoom in, it's to the right and you might be able to spot it right above the can. All right. There you go, zooming in, zooming in. Here it is. I know it's very tiny, and it started out looking green, just as any other hot pepper, and uh, it started to turn yellow. Now, I was expecting, since the name of this pepper plant is Peruvian White Lightning, I'm expecting that to turn into white at some point. Um, I, I think it will, but this is my first time growing this type of pepper, so I'm just gonna have to wait and see. Now, if I move around a little bit, um, you'll see some flowers going. I mean, it's definitely going, but uh, this has been a slow process. Some flowers dropped, but you know, yeah, you see there are some flowers. Okay, some of them are look like they're gonna turn into pods so let's just hope that will happen yeah there's some more flowers in the back yeah there's some more flowers so it's going uh, definitely definitely going um, but it definitely is a slow going somehow I don't know just as I said previously in my video that the, somehow the ones that I put in the uh, uh, fabric pot seem to grow a lot of foliage for sure as you can see it's pretty bushy right but i don't know it takes time for them to put some flowers out um, i don't know what's up with it so although i am really happy with the growth of these pepper plants and fabric pots I'm not really sure if I'm going to use it again next year. I mean, the size is definitely way bigger than the ones that I grow in my styrofoam double cup system, but you know, they're not really putting out that many flowers. So yeah, I'm definitely going to do a recap at the end of the season. So I am right now sort of contemplating on whether or not to use fabric pots again next year. All right, well, last but not least, even though there are no pots to show you, I still wanted to show you my fish pepper plants in a fabric pot. Um, it grew since the last update and it's pretty full and lush. I do like the way it looks actually. It's just a matter of putting out pots now. So let's see if I can spot some flowers. There are tons of flowers actually, but I just don't know if I can um, show them to you from this camera because you know what it doesn't matter how much I zoom in they tend to sort of blend in a bit so I'm just going to move around and just show you the plant a little bit um, regardless of you know um, not having a lot of flowers or paws I'm still proud of this uh, plant because it's just really gorgeous to look at um, yeah but once again it's in this fabric pot and uh, you know, I actually like the fact that it grows bigger plant, but none of them are really fruiting actively. So that would be just my complaint. And I actually don't know the reason why, to be honest with you. I don't know why it's doing that. Um, I don't have any scientific explanation to that, but that's just based on my observation. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this uh, pepper plant update for August 2015. 
And uh, sorry if I was a bit rushed. Um, I have this uh, time crunch issue and I still wanted to do an update before August ended. So anyway, if you have any comments or questions about my pepper plants, please let me know and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. As always, thank you so much for watching. Take care.